Well, as we continue to dive deeper in what the world post pandemic will look like, what are the some success stories out of it? What are some things that everybody needs to keep in mind? We decided to take a different look on housing. And of course, to do that, we want to welcome back to our show, the Pinellas Community Foundation and the Community Law Program, Mercy Roberg. Duggan Cooley is back with us. Guys, good to see you today. How are the both of you? Doing well, thank you very much. Doug, and we've got to know you over the past few months, maybe even years at this point. And so I want to talk about what are you seeing as the pandemic does, you know, we want to say start to wrap up here. What are some of the concerns in the community that definitely has you talking and has you focused on helping? Sure. One of the roles of Pinellas Community Foundation is to help our community understand what is needed now. And as the pandemic is winding down, our community still has needs. And as much as the pandemic was a public health crisis, it's also created a housing crisis in our community. And housing and evictions are one of the very timely issues of what's needed now in our community. Well, and I like talking about the, you know, what is needed now. And, and you mentioned the evictions. This is where I want to go ahead and bring in Mercy on this one, because I know you're introducing the community law program and their solutions to help people who may be facing eviction. What do you hope to the message you hope to spread and how are you helping? Absolutely. So community law program uh, partnered with uh, Duggan's group, Pinellas Community Foundation, in September of 2020. A group of people had come together and recognized that um, evictions were on the horizon. And even though we had a moratorium at the federal level from the uh, CDC, uh, Governor DeSantis had um, not extended the Florida moratorium. So a group came together to figure out how could we partner together to take federal funding that was available for landlords and match it with the tenants that needed it that have been financially impacted by COVID. So we created the Pinellas Eviction Diversion Program. And that program started in September of 2020. And essentially, we have helped over 100 families a month stay in their homes and prevent homelessness. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Mercy, I'm, I'm curious of those hundreds, as you just said, you know, what are some of the success stories that has stood out to you? Because it has to be rewarding. I mean, we're talking about people's homes here. Absolutely. So one of the first things we had to do was uh, outreach, right? So a lot of people, um, landlords were filing evictions um, for non-payment of rent. And even though those weren't actually going to a final judgment and people being evicted, some of them were and some of them weren't. And so we had to do a big outreach um, in the community and let renters know that there was money available and get the landlords on board. So we had a client come to us at a large apartment complex and we could not get a hold of the property manager. And we kept calling and my team went all sorts of different routes to reach them. And eventually we got them to, on board and we did a mediation with the tenant and the property manager. After the property manager essentially received the check for the tenant that was three or four months behind on rent, they came to us and said, can we send tenants to you? And we said, absolutely. We ended up helping 11 families out of that one apartment complex. And oh. those are the success stories. I love hearing that. And, you know, I really love uh, this segment that we're able to do. One, we are saying if you are in need of help right now, there are resources. But then also, if you want to give back, Duggan, you're also presenting those resources as well. Yes. Um, so if you need help, you can certainly contact the community law program. They're an excellent resource in our community to help resolve landlord tenant issues and avoid evictions. Um, but also we at Pinellas Community Foundation have our needed now fund and resources from the needed now fund are helping uh, avoid eviction issues, help organizations in the community continue to provide the services very much like community law program is. And so you can donate the needed now fund at pinellascf.org. And you can find out about more about what is needed now and some of the ongoing issues in our community where the community can reach out and give help. Oh, I'm so glad you both were able to join us today. And will you please keep us updated as you continue to help more and more families? We love being able to share those success stories. So, Mercy, a big thank you, Doug, and thank you as always. Great to see you again, and we hope the both of you take care.